Over the next few weeks, we're going to show you what really goes on in a school sixth form and what it's like from the views of the students and the teachers across the schools. We look at common rooms, classrooms and even teachers' offices just to find out what really happens in the life of an A-level student. Today's episode is located on the south-east coast at the Chatham and Clarendon Grammar School in Ramsgate. The school in East Kent is spread across three sites and has had many different changes and developments over the past few years that have altered where the students study. Chatham and Clarendon is now a federation of grammar schools that was previously two separate schools, Chatham House Grammar School for Boys and Clarendon House Grammar School for Girls. Both of the schools also had separate six forms that were both mixed sex unlike the actual schools. Now the two schools are mixed and lessons are spread across the two schools whilst the sixth form have a lot of their lessons at the recently built sixth form centre between the two. The sixth form centre is also the home of the sixth form common room. Um, Chloe, tell me a little bit about the uh, zeitgeist. Tell me kind of in what way or in some of the ways that it is an example of a postmodern build. Chatham and Clarendon, being the only grammar school sixth form that still offers A-levels in the area, means that many of the students here come from a variety of schools in the area, as well as those who originally studied at the school from Year 7. But is it a good or a bad thing to study A-levels at a different school to where they studied their GCSEs? I enjoyed studying my GCSEs at Dane Court and came away with successful results. I think the move to study A-levels at Chatham House is a good one because it's been good to study in a different environment. I think the change has determined me to try harder because I have new teachers to impress. Being just down the road from a high street full of fast food restaurants and shops selling cheap food, the cafeteria does not sometimes receive as much custom from the students as they perhaps hoped for, but many of the students still like to stay in the common room to eat. I buy food from the cafeteria here most days. Some of the lunchtime deals are pretty good, or you can get a panini or get for £2 whenever you want. The only negative thing I'd have to say is that sometimes it can get really busy and loud and there won't be any max or sofas available so you'd have to wait around. The sixth form here is run by Mr Moody, who has previously been a geography teacher at the school and is also an ex-student and up until recently was the record holder of the year 10 100 metre sprint on sports day. It's uh, um, a real privilege to be head of sixth form um, at Chatham and Clarendon Grammar School. Um, it's a large sixth form of 530 students, uh, many of whom come to us from other local high schools uh, and I think that's one of the great strengths. It brings people together, um, it allows them to, to mix and then to uh, reach their full potential and well over 90% of our students go to university and of those over 90% get their first choice university. I think a major strength of the school is the advice and guidance that's given to students regarding their university applications. So the food here is surprisingly popular with the kids, but being in the town centre does have some issues. Are they actually eating as healthily as they should be at their age? To be honest, I don't really think I've ever bought anything from the cafeteria um, when, you know, I can just go downtown for lunch to like McDonald's or Subway. Yeah, the food here doesn't really appeal to me, but there's so much you can just buy from downtown. I think I spend about five or six pounds a day on fizzy drinks at KFC. I just go downtown and buy whatever I want. Not all students are eating what they should be at school, but how does this affect their work? Being a grammar school that is situated right in the town of Ramsgate has both advantages and uh, negatives. The advantages, uh, obviously, is that the, we are part of the community and students are able to, to access that community uh, and very often actually keep many of the businesses going, uh, particularly during the winter months. However, there are downsides, and one of the major negatives is the access to fast food, unhealthy foods, sweets, fizzy drinks, um, chips, burgers, etc. Um, there are many outlets um, in the town, and of course the students tend to, to go there. And as we know, obesity in this country is, is a major problem. It's going to cost the country uh, millions of pounds in, in years to come, and therefore uh, I think that is one of the problems that we do face. 